Silver Stag Pyro here, and I got my manager Karen, and she is also a safety coach. Make sure everything goes well. I can barely keep a straight face. But today I'm very excited because we're going to review Bahala shells by No Name Fireworks. Five inch shells. The reason I'm so excited about putting these up is there's no video online that I can find. I have looked on YouTube, looked on Rumble, I've looked on their website, on No Name's website, other fireworks stores' websites. I can't find a video of this anywhere. So while I was at uh, Half Price Fireworks, I went ahead and picked up these. Uh, I think they were 90 or 100. They were on sale. I want to say like an even 100 with tax and everything. Uh, 24 5 inch shells. Here are the effects. I'm not going to read them all to you because you can read, but I'll let them sit like this here. Uh, looks like a little bit of a mix of everything. There's uh, pearls, uh, glitter, palm. There's a willow shell. I think there's only one of those. Willow and strobe. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to check these out because there's only, or there's no video on them, like I said. So I will have the first video on YouTube or maybe on the internet that I could at least find. And so I'm gonna have them in this video and then I'm gonna make a separate video of just the fireworks so that the fireworks store or websites or whoever can link to that video and then there'll be a video of five inch Valhalla shells. Also, they are gonna be fused in this this is a 28 shot rack. Um, I believe I got that from Pyro Direct or Pyro Creations, one of the two. You good? Pyro Direct or Pyro Creations, I think is where I got this. Um, it was only a hundred bucks, which for all the tubes, they're fiberglass tubes, they're not the DR11s, uh, but they work for many, many shells, just not as many as the DR11s. Uh, so good enough for me for now and they're inexpensive. So I will go through fusing this up and then uh, we'll do the review at nighttime. So let's see how these Valhalla shells perform. All right, so we are going to go ahead and start fusing this together. Karen's gonna help as well. She's always in my business. And then Lucy is off camera because uh, she is interested in seeing what I do as well. So, Valhalla shells, Valhalla shells, however you want to say it. All right, so I am going to take these out and show you what they're like first and to see if they're individually labeled, which they are, which is really good because you'll know what is going to go off and when, especially if you're doing a show and you want crackle or glitter or something specific right then and there, it's good to have each one labeled. Uh, it's fine if they're numbered and then the number is go, uh, is matches the, what's on the box, but this is the best if they're just labeled individually. Let's see, these here, let's see what the tube looks like. Nice, it's pretty cool. And it is a fiberglass tube. Set that to the side. And I do keep all these tubes because you can link them together um, or you can uh, like side by side or use them individually or you can knock this off and then put a bunch of these in like a milk crate or a wooden box or something like that and then reuse these for a while. Because this is the same material as this is. They're both fiberglass. sleeve and the final sleeve so what I'm gonna do is get these out of their sleeves and then uh, so Karen shh, shh, zip uh, I'm gonna get these out of their sleeve and I'm gonna put them kind of together like the ones that I think are going to be nice color the ones that might be glitter the ones that are crackle I'm gonna kind of put them together so they're in little groups of similar effects so I am going to do that now off-camera 
All right, so we kind of got them um, <clears throat> separated into different effects. These are all going to be glitter here. These are peonies right here. And then I'm just going to add some uh, just there's ones with uh, red stars, blue stars. I'm going to add those back here. And then this side will be brocades and chrysanthemums. So that's how they'll be split up. What are you doing? All right. So we're just putting them in here like this, dropping them in. That's the, and then we'll fuse them. We're going to connect them with different fuse. Lucy, can I have the blue fuse? Yes. Thank you. Um, this is 16 to 20 seconds per foot. If you need it perfect, the time you're going to have to each roll, you'll have to take a, a inch or a little bit more off and then time it. So if, if it's that particular, because they give you a range, even if it says it's 10 seconds, it could be 11, 12, or even nine seconds a foot. So you got to make sure. So I'm going to be using blue fuse for these and then a firing system to start this section. Then it'll go to this section. Then I'm going to do these here. So after I'm done putting all the shells in, I'm going to be fusing them with the blue fuse. I got it separated into groups and I'm going to use zip ties which is the most common way to hook fuses together so I will be pretty much just leaving a little bit out here which is where I'll attach the, the um, ignition system to and then I'm going to be zip tying just like this And you want, you want the, the fuse you're trying to light to be opposite the direction of the burn. So the fuse will be burning this way. You want the, this fuse facing that way and it'll run against it like that. Um, and some of these I might cut like because it's so long. I don't want those going off at exactly the same time. So I'll either move this one down like this or I will cut it shorter um, just depends on on how it feels that time um, and it is nice if you can if you have a, a rack that's open at the bottom uh, what you can do like if it was two rows would be nice just these two rows and open at the bottom you can have holes in the bottom of the tube then you take the uh, shell you open up the bottom and you dump the black powder down into the tube. And then in that hole down there, you'll just uh, put a fuse and then the shell over the black powder and it'll ignite and shoot out just the same. Uh, I will be doing that, but I can't with this one because it's sealed on the bottom. So I'm just fusing everything at the top. All right, got this all set up here. This is firing unit. Uh, and then the two um, radios there. And they will all set them off. Okay, and we are about to do what, Lucy? The, the, Valhalla. Valhalla, no name fire, by no name pirate. All right, good job. That's just fine. All right, here we go. Wow. 